Hey there, it is a hot minute since the last time I've been on here. I've been just so sick, and when you're sick and you're tired, you just, the last thing you wanna do when you get home from work is do anything. And then weekends are spent um, lounging on the couch trying not to get sick. So I'm back, I'm still not feeling great, but I'm doing a little better, enough to film here, and it's been whew, at least a month and a half since I've even felt okay to do this so take that as you will this is a good ish day I have a crazy cat in here if you so you haven't seen Max in a while he's grown so much he's a big boy now and naughty one though so naughty okay I have my ipsy unboxing I am gonna do my normal where I ooh do the mm. That's exciting. I'm going to do, I'm confused, but I'm excited. The Ipsy bag first. This is the $12 bag. This is the one that I started on before Ipsy Plus even became a thing. I am pretty sure almost the same month that came out, I joined it in Birchbox. Cause I joined Birchbox first and Ipsy, like as soon as they came out, I had to get on that. And then for a while I was on all the subscription boxes. Do you guys remember those days? <laughs> this is cr so Christmassy themed. It's velvet and green and it feels just luxurious. So what we have in here is a full size lipstick. Love seeing that. I love for a $12 bag when you get a full size thing. And Ipsy is notorious for doing that. This is the L Maquillage. Maybe that's the name of it. Dirty Talk is the color. It looks beautiful. I know I've seen this before. I think I've seen, I know I've seen it in Ipsy, but in a store before and I don't know which one. Oh, that's pretty, but that is, it kind of looks like cement. And so I hope that you can see this on the camera. I'll zoom in so you can see this, but it literally looks like cement. That's crazy. It's a very, very heavy duty lipstick too. This just feels like it's good quality. And are you going in the box right now? Here. The next thing in here is another full size product. This is beautiful. This is Sophia and Mabel, and it is a lip oil in the color Jellyfish. I'm a chapstick girl, but I definitely don't mind putting a lip oil on. Something that I can rub my lips around and I can eat and I can just wear casually. That's my favorite thing. Um, I do want to have it in a while. Um, when I get like made up for the first like hour or so, I'll have a lipstick on. Um, and then I'll put my chapstick on and then rub it off. So that's my normal makeup routine. How is this possible? Is this another? No, this is not a full size. It looked like it was going to be. This is my Glossier. And it's a Milky Jelly Cleanser Conditioning Face Wash. My face and just my chest and everything in between, even my shins, has been breaking out so bad. And I, it's driving me crazy. So I need, I need help is what I'm saying. I recently bought a Clean and Clear Acne Scrub that I've been using, but nothing's helping. So this is, like I said, a cleanser and it's supposed to be, I think, gentle on your skin because it's a gel. There's not much on here, but um, I know for sure that this is a nice brand. I'm pretty sure they have that at Sephora. There's nothing acne fighting in here, so um, maybe I'll hold off until I can kind of get what's happening under control. Um, the next thing is by Brio Geo, the Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. I have used this many times. I've had the full size of it. I really like it. It doesn't like hurt my skin. Some things just completely wreck my skin. I have very sensitive skin. So sensitive. Um, and I really like this. I don't love the smell of it. It's not a bad smell like by any means. It's just not, there's just not much there. And I like, I don't know, I like my hair mask to have a nice smell to it. Um, but the fact that it doesn't break me out, I will continue using it. Whereas normally I have to give like any kind of hair stuff to um, friends. Okay, the last, no, just kidding. Second to last thing 
Able Skincare London Ultra Collagen Eye Rescue Therapy. Yes, please. I need a new eye um, moisturizer. It just getting dark I'm sorry the lighting is gonna keep changing uh, right now I'm going through one that has like a pearlescent type look to it it's not um, it's, I don't know it's not like bad but it also like looks a little weird it almost looks like I have sparkly under eyes and when I'm not wearing makeup it shows so and I don't wear like I've just been using my uh, Merit Beauty the concealer stick I just rub it in like the areas where my pimples are and that's one thing that does not break me out more, so I feel comfortable each day putting it on. Only when, like, my skin's really bad and I'm feeling, like, a little iffy. I've been, I used to be really good if I had just, like, a couple acne marks, just not caring and going makeup-free. But, like, right now, because I have so much, I just, for my own self-care and sanity, want to kind of conceal some of that. So I've been using that. Um, but under my eyes, I usually don't get acne there, so I want something that's not sparkly. And that's the long story of why I'm excited about this. Wow, I am wordy. I have not done this in a while, so I apologize. So now last thing is my kinship, and this is a deep pore detox mask. Yes! I've seen this. I'm pretty sure it's a Ford too, and this is supposed to help your skin, and I need it. So it's supposed to unclog pores, balance oil, and smooth your skin. Has lactic acid, moringa, bentonite, and kaolin clays, and jojoba oil or something. I don't know. Regardless, I need this. I'm gonna, <laughs> maybe this week I don't use it. I think I'll probably be able to use the entire bottle in just one go, um, and that's fine with me. Yeah, it's just a little guy. So, yes, I will. Thank you very much. Okay, that was all for the Ipsy bag. And then we have a little maxi in my Ipsy Plus. He does not come with the box this month. So, oh my gosh, are you kidding me, kitty? He already put holes all through this. You are a brat. Did you know that? You are the biggest brat. He clawed through my shampoo. You can see there's little claw marks. I'm gonna tape that up um, and then I'm gonna use it because it's a shampoo and conditioner that they sent. And I love refreshments and I love that it's like, um, I don't know if it's all natural, but there's it's like free of sulfates, parabens, all of that. Um, and I wanna say like the lotion doesn't have any um, sulfate in it, which dries your skin out and it's like counterproductive, so. So far, everything I've used, even the or, the or, their razors are so good. I'll try it. I'm hoping that it doesn't break me out. It says it's allergy and dermatologist tested, so that should work. We will see. I'm excited. Let me smell. Oh, I just can really probably smell through the bottle. It's lavender. That's just like a, a light, fresh scent. Okay, if you ruin one more thing, sir, you will be banned from ever being in an unboxing again. Okay, the bag this month is, it's not quite velvet, it's more of like, um, you know those like cheaper, like blankets that you can get at Walmart for $3? It's like the fabric of it. I love using these for school um, because I can put my candy in it for the kids, so then um, I'll carry my bag with me whenever I do a lesson and I do some kind of game that um, winners can pick out of my candy bag so I always use these and like kids love them if you have extras okay next thing is Camelina and strobe luminizing primer Ooh, a primer the packaging is beautiful cruelty free and vegan and a beautiful package again very girly and dainty are you joking do not touch my bottles. Then, oh, Thrive, I love Thrive. Um, Thrive Cosmetics. This is the Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. Oh, I love me mascara. And it's in rich black, which is the only color I use. And why is it so big? Oh my gosh, that's huge. The bottle feels like it weighs three ounces or so, which is heavy for a mascara. Wow, it's beautiful. I know Whitney Simmons uses Thrive, which um, is why it's been on my radar, because I love her. 
Length and volume. Cannot wait to try that. Cannot wait to need an excuse of a makeup on. What am I looking for excuses for? Now I am. We had picture day last month. That's the last time I put mascara on. And the time before that, I have no idea. So, Anywho, um, the next thing is maybe scrunchies. Nude colored scrunchies. Ooh, they are. Ooh, it's by um, Kitsch. And I think that I've seen these at Target before. That or Ulta or Sephora. Um, I love scrunchies and I love these colors because they're just neutral and they go with everything and they're really cute. So that might be my favorite so far out of this. I didn't tell you guys my favorite from the Ipsy bag. Um, I'm gonna say the lip oil from that. Um, okay, moving on. Nomad Venice Simplin Express. And this is like, I think a glam bag exclusive. It should be an eyeshadow. Are you stop? Will you stop? Will you please just stop? Sir. Came home today, or Randall came home today, and there was just, he has a toy bin, him and Oliver, and the, they were everywhere, all scattered throughout the apartment. So he had a day. And then what else did you do? Oh yeah, you got a hold of one of your, um, you know the doggy bags that you put like poop in? We use that for the litter box and a whole roll was just unscattered and just like cools all through it. So that was a fun time, wasn't it? Anyways, let's, ooh, looks like this reminds me of the Harry Potter palette a little bit, like the colors in it. They are beautiful. Colors that like I'd be afraid of even trying, but I want to. You figure out how to incorporate those. That one, I have no idea how to use that. Those are beautiful though, wow. This is a good box. And I feel like getting way too long. I need to really hurry this up. I am so sorry. I hate watching videos where the whole time you're, they're talking about something other than the box, which is, I feel like what I'm doing. Um, okay, last thing, oh, right, the last thing is, oh, another refreshment. And this is Dazzling Five Blade Razor Kit. Yes. I needed this in my life because uh, right now the razor I'm using is like not working, which means I think there's just like too much hair built up in it and I just need a new head. Um, and I didn't feel like going to the store and getting a new one and now I don't have to. How do, oh, I'm so, oh, I this. Let's see. Ooh, see I already had a, a stem, a stem, a handle from them. But this one is metallic and I like that. Um, and it came with two razor heads. I, I, I think I said it earlier, like I love their razors. So I need to figure out um, how much they are and if it's like a decent price compared to like what I normally would get with Venus, just switch over to them because I feel like they last me longer. That was everything in both boxes. Um, favorite from the Ipsy Plus, which I think is $25. And I don't think I told you that. Um, I'm gonna say, oh, that's hard. Okay, practicality wise, the razors. You not. Practicality wise, the razors. But, mm, I don't know, I still really like the scrunchies. I'm so excited to try the mascara. Um, Kitty, the palette is beautiful. I don't know, and I am excited to try what that would be like on my skin. So, all of it, I love it all. I think a million percent both of them were worth the price that they were and way over. So, um, if you got a similar box, let me know in the comments below and I'm sure you're happy. Or if you got something even more special, because they always put different ones in. Like, they're not all the same box they send out. It's kind of cool. So, like, when you watch other people's videos, um, they probably got almost a completely different box. So, anywho, I love you. I'm going to go and just, like, lay down and try to get this nausea to go away, at least for a little bit. And I will see you guys soon. I am going to make a comeback. I feel like I've been gone forever. Almost, like two years now um, and a few videos scattered in. I am going to do my best 
and just see what happens. And I love you so much. See you soon. Goodbye.